Hello everyone! For today's video, we will talk about the summertime care tips for Shih Tzu. First, let me answer the question, why the Shih Tzu breed has trouble tolerating the summer heat? Canines don't sweat like humans do. They cool themselves off mainly by panting and a small portion of body heat escapes through the paw pads. The hotter it is, the more a dog needs to pant. So being able to effectively pant heavily is necessary to avoid overheating. But Shih Tzu is one of a handful of brachycephalic breeds and this is directly related to panting. The skull is compressed and the snout is short. This means that the internal breathing passages are much more compact than with their long snouted counterparts. This alone can make it more difficult to take in deep or quick breaths. In addition, the majority of Shih Tzu dogs have some level of stenotic nares or pinched nostrils which can prevent long and deep inhalations. And some Shih Tzu have other issues commonly seen with the brachycephalic profile such as elongated soft palate involving extra tissue at the back of the throat which can become more inflamed during hot weather, often signaled with an increase in snorting sounds and which certainly can interfere with being able to cool off. Now, let me tell you the top 9 summertime care tips for Shih Tzu. Tip number 1. Keep your Shih Tzu hydrated. Don't count on your Shih Tzu to self-regulate their water intake in the summer. Many dogs get distracted or drink only once they are overly thirsty which makes it much harder for the body to keep up. So. Proactively encourage your puppy or dog to drink all throughout the day, not just after exercising. Methods to keep a dog drink a bit more include cleaning the bowl at least once a day, refilling the bowl often, bringing along water when taking walks, and offering water-rich fruits like blueberries and strawberries. Tip number 2. Protect the paws. Burns to the paw pads is one of the top summertime injuries for dogs, and this can be prevented. The main problem is not realizing just how hot walking surfaces can be. At 120 degrees Fahrenheit, a dog has reached their comfort tolerance, and at 140 degrees Fahrenheit, burns can occur within just one minute. But cement, brick, and blocktop pavement can easily reach those temperatures on hot, sunny days. In fact, a study done in Florida during the summer showed that cement reached 125 degrees Fahrenheit, brick reached 135 degrees Fahrenheit, and pavement reached 140 degrees Fahrenheit by 2 p.m. and remained dangerously hot for several hours. Methods to help keep your Shih Tzu's paw safe in the summer include testing the ground before walks, do be careful doing this, but if you cannot keep your palm pressed down for a count of 5, it's too hot. Adjusting roots for more shade and or keeping on grass, taking walks before 10 a.m. and after 5 p.m., and using a paw wax. Paw wax on its own does not make paws invincible, but it does add a layer of protection, can prevent dryness, and can repel common summertime irritants like pollen, other allergens, and lawn care chemicals. I recommend an all-natural paw wax, which should be applied every 7 to 10 days. Tip number 3. Make exercise adjustments. There are numerous benefits of regular exercise for dogs such as muscle maintenance, regulating metabolism, releasing pent-up energy, and heart health. 
But at the same time, it's imperative that a Shih Tzu is not pushed too hard in the summer. On exceedingly hot days such as a legitimate heat wave, it will be best to offer fun, indoor games and activities than risk overheating in dangerously high temperature. If you have a long hallway or several open concept rooms, engage your Shih Tzu in a regular sessions of indoor fetch with a toy or you can also see if your Shih Tzu enjoys swimming which is an excellent low-impact activity, or have them ramp around a kiddie pool and or sprinkler. Supervised, of course. Tip number four, give your Shih Tzu a cooling pad. Pet cooling pads are small mats that are a bit like personal ice packs for dogs, but not quite so extreme. They offer refreshing and cooling relief from the heat and can make huge difference in how a Shih Tzu handles hot weather. We recommend a type that are self-activating, no cords or plugs, so they are super portable. You can place this down outside on a porch or patio, inside on your Shih Tzu's regular doggy bed, in the car, placed into a pet stroller, or just about anywhere. And importantly, a cooling pad can literally be a lifesaver for a Shih Tzu puppy or dog if there's ever a power outage in the summer and the AC cannot be used. Tip number 5. Make indoor adjustments as needed. What may have been an ideal relaxing or sleeping area during other seasons may present some issues in the summer. If your Shih Tzu stays home alone, reassess their designated area to ensure that glaring sunlight is not streaming to them. Also check to see if there are any strong AC currents near their area. Though some cool air can certainly provide relief, continual cold air can cause chills and discomfort. Tip number 6. Use canine sunscreen as needed. Not all dogs need sunscreen, but there are a few instances when it's a good idea. For example, if your Shih Tzu has a light coat, if your Shih Tzu has a very close haircut, if they like to lie belly up outside, if they spend time near or in water which reflects the sun up into their belly, and or if they have a history of getting sunburned. The main reasons to use sunscreen in these scenarios is to prevent overexposure to UV rays which can cause painful sunburns and is linked to certain skin cancers including squamous cell, carcinoma, malignant melanomas, hemangiomas, and hemangiosarcomas. For this, you may want to consider EpiPet Sun Protector Spray for Pets for it is a FDA-compliant sunscreen for pets. You can spray this directly onto your dog or it can be applied by hand, massaging it into the belly and distributing it over the coat and main body. Note that you can also use this on the nose. Tip number 7. Protect your Shih Tzu from summertime insects. A big part of caring for a Shih Tzu in the summer is to protect them from bogs, stinging insects, fleas, ticks, and other pests which are typically abundant when the weather is warm. For stinging insects like bees, wasps, and yellow jackets, be aware of any nests on your property and have them removed. Don't let your Shih Tzu sniff under bushes and other shrubbery where ground digger wasps may be nesting. Stay aware of your surroundings. If a stinging insect is swarming near your Shih Tzu, Pick up your puppy or dog and leave the area. Small dogs like the Shih Tzu that are allergic to an insect's venom can be in danger from just one sting. So remove stingers ASAP and monitor your dog for reactions like swelling around the eyes. Tip number 8. Consider a short summer puppy cut. Lots of hair can certainly make a dog feel hotter in the summer. So one of the wonderful aspects of the Shih Tzu breed is the options for coat length. Everything from shaved coats to long show coats can be done. And since the coat grows fast, you can vary the length depending on the season. Going longer in the winter and shorter in the summer. Do please note that with shorter hair, your Shih Tzu may indeed feel cooler. However, the risk of sunburn increases. For this reason, it may be necessary to use a sunscreen. Tip number 9. Know the signs of heat stress and how to react. A dog's average body temperature is between 101 and 102.5 Fahrenheit or 38.3 to 39.2 Celsius. Heat stress is when a dog's body temperature rises to 103 degrees Fahrenheit or 39.4 degrees Celsius. You'll need to provide intervention to help your dog cool down. Heat stroke is the next phase, which can happen very quickly after heat stress. 
in which a dog's body temperature reaches to 106 degrees Fahrenheit or 41.1 degrees Celsius or higher. This is considered life-threatening. These are the symptoms. Rapid panting, bright red tongue, very red or pale gums, thick sticky saliva, depression, weakness, dizziness, vomiting sometimes with blood, diarrhea, slow capillary refill time. This refers to coloring taking too long to return to the gums when a finger is pressed and released. Generally, over 2 seconds for pink to return points to heat stress. If not treated, it can lead to shock, coma, and eventual death. How to react? Most veterinarians recommend first cooling a dog down before transportation to the clinic. Bring your Shih Tzu into the house or to a shady spot if you cannot reach an indoor air-conditioned area. Cool your Shih Tzu down by soaking towels with cool water not cold, and gently lay the towels all over the body. Use a fan to circulate the air around your dog. Encourage slow yet steady water intake. As you work to cool your dog down, keep checking body temperature. Once it is below 103 degrees Fahrenheit or 39 Celsius, it will be time to carefully transport your Shih Tzu to the veterinarian or closest animal hospital. If you are outside, use what you can. Wet down socks, shirts with three-fourths of the on-hand drinking water, and call the vet since it is very difficult for heat stress to be properly treated outside. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video.